Hello there, my name is Makars and welcome to another BVS Tips video. In this video I want to show you a couple of neat animation tricks that you can do in BBS mode. So let's get into it. Let's start with an elastic trick. Elastic trick is an animation trick you can see in animated YouTube shorts by Animamaze or other YouTubers that use blockbuster mode for creating animated content. So the way it works is that you have three keyframes, for example, like this uh, bundled together over here, and then the last one over here. So what you do with the second one is that you bring it down, then you squish it on y-axis by 0.8 for example, and stretch it on x-axis by 1.2. You can change these values and see how they affect, but at the moment it looks like this. As you can see it's linear, so next step is to change the is to change the interpolation to elastic out, and finally is to change the first duration to some big number from 35. Now as you can see the character kind of animates like it's a jello. You can try different like scale numbers here, or for example you can take and create like a couple of poses to kind of like create different poses. So us as a character would be like doing something, like for example, like me, then you copy the pose, paste it here, clear transformation for anchor, and then maybe this one is gonna be something like this, copy pose, Paste it, clear, uh, anchor, and it looks something like this. It's a very nice looking image trick and it looks very cute. So that's how it's done in BBS mode. Next animation trick I want to show you is Hermite Interpolation. It's not really an animation trick per se, but it's pretty powerful tool. So here I have an animation from a music video I've done recently. At the moment I have linear interpolation here, so it looks a bit rigid, I would say, like it's it's boring. But if you want to smooth it out, you basically change the interpolation for all these keyframes to Hermit, and now it looks more smoother. Another cool thing you can do with Hermit interpolation, which is like actually animation trick, is that for example here we have a transition between these two keyframes. What I can do, for example, I could change the way the easing is gonna be done between these keyframes, between these two keyframes. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a keyframe like somewhere like on the right side, and then I'm gonna move it to the left. And this would basically makes it out. I'm gonna quickly change. If you like see the difference, it quickly went from this to here. And here it's more smoother. And you can do also the other way around, moving the keyframes created on the left side, kind of like all to the animation, then quickly change here, or immediately change, something like that. So with Hermite Imperation it's very visible, and it actually looks smooth. Another part I could show this is a pro over here. I could take the keyframe here, move it to the left, and it's gonna have this slow effect at the end. The only thing you have to be aware with Hermit Interpolation is that it has overshoots. As you can see in the end here, the body goes down into the ground and then returns. So this is something you have to be aware and kind of fix sometimes, if you don't like the when it goes through the ground. But overall, it's a very powerful tool and I think it very looks nice with something like dance moves or just like generally like some fluid animation if you don't need like specific controlled actions, something like that. And finally, I want to show you how to create stop motion kind of scene. So here we have a simple scene where the knight character is basically doing some talking first and then he walks away. So as you can see, it's not stop motion at all. 
So the first step you have to do is change the poses to constant. Now it appears more stop motion, but it's still the movement are basically smooth. What you can do here is to take these and change them to constant as well. It appears now more stop motion, but it's still smooth enough. And also we lose the basically the animation of the legs. So we'd have to animate legs separately. So but even then it's still smooth enough. What I suggest doing is basically removing some keyframes, for example. Like here, over here. And then also here, maybe by two. Two by two. Delete. Let's see how it looks like. Now it's more stop motion. Eh? And I would keep deleting here. It doesn't have to be specifically 2x2. Two two. You can remove more or less. Whatever looks like better. You can try removing and then see if it's whatever you want to see. And then return with Ctrl Z and see if you liked it or not. And then we do maybe a different way. And here we're done. So let's see how this looks like. And for the legs animation, so let's see what we're here. And then, so the way that this animation would be made is with, so let's say it's 33, then negative 33. And also negative 33 and 33. Maybe even 45 for legs because these legs have more swing to them. So then I copy this and uh, think I move two keyframes like two, so there will be like one frame in between. And then I basically invert both arms and legs pressing minus key so and now I'll take these make sure they're constant and then duplicate so let's see over here and over here let's see how it looks like um, yeah it looks pretty nice one more thing I want to mention for example if you want like you didn't exactly like the how the frame rate looks like. You can remove more. Or for example, in some places this is probably too long. Okay. For example, this is too long and you want to be there more steps. You can add basically a couple of steps, change the step manipulation. As you can see now there is more step in between. Same way, for example, with the here. This looks a bit too much like um, maybe not enough transition. So what you can do is to take all of these, change the step, then maybe add like three steps, then click step again, and now there is more step uh, in, steps in between instead of just like instantly changing. But yeah, that's how you do step interpolation, the constant interpolation, basically stop motion. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Bye!